Ultimate Women's Combat Tryouts. That's what we're doing right here. And we are here in Thousand Oaks, California. Boss Rutten's Elite MMA Gym. Stop. Stop. Joanna Krupa, we're here at the Boss Root and Gym with Roxy Balboa. So tell me, how was it working out with Caesar? Did he kick your butt? Oh, he did, and it was awesome. I loved every minute of it. Of it. it was so intense, and um, you know, he really made sure that all these girls' cardio was up to par because that's really important. It's a big part of MMA, and we want to be able to prove that we can fight five-minute rounds just like the guys because we can. And all the girls, they really did well today, and it, it was great to be able to show that we have what it takes to be real fighters because we are. Carrie Vera, okay, the last name Vera, a lot of people who follow mixed martial arts, tell us about that last name. Last name, Vera. Um, my husband fights, um, he's a UFC fighter, Brandon the Truth Vera, and uh, my sister also fights too, she's a Vera. You're going to have a later on here. Yes, yes, for sure. So, um, I started fighting before I met him though, we actually met at the gym, and um, we've just both been able to train together and work out together. and and uh, have our careers progress together, so it's been nice. That's it, right attitude. Carrie Vera, ladies and gentlemen, keep your eyes on her, it's gonna be great. Hi, I'm Joanna Krupa, and we're here at the Boss Rutten Gym for the US competition for the Ultimate Women's Combat, and I'm here with the lovely Martha. When I look at you guys, I don't see fighters. I've always been a competitor. I've done triathlons, I've done marathons, but once I got done with those, it was almost like, okay, what's the next step? Mm. This is the first sport that I found, and I'm 36 years old, that every day is a challenge. You can't be off focus. You always have to be there. There's so many techniques, there's so much more to learn. So this is something that I can find myself being in for years and years and years and not finding myself saying, okay, what's next? Great. Well, I'm excited. I, you guys look amazing with all your moves. I wish I only knew. I only know a few jiu-jitsu from Gracie, Miami, but um, hopefully one day I'll know uh, the same moves as you guys. Thank you so much and good luck and I'll see you after the tryout. You remember Carrie Vera, the wife of Brandon Vera? Well, now we got a girlfriend, not a wife, a girlfriend from a very famous fighter, Vladimir Machichenko, Vanessa Mariscal. Yes. How did you hook up with a Russian? I have no clue. At a bar. Bartender, Russian. <laughs> there you go. Listen, this one can knock you out on the feet, can take you down, submit you on the ground. Well, we're going to check out with that. Whoop! If you're a Beatles fan, you know this song, Michel, ma belle. The French, sont les mots qui vont très bien ensemble. Do you know that song? No. It's from the Beatles. And since it has your name, it's, it's about Michelle. I think no. you're going to make it. I mean, you were going to town on that uh, girl there, right? Yes, Martha. <laughs> Oh, this girl with the glasses, she can't fight. Like I said, just keep thinking that, and then when we get in there, we'll write our own chapter and have our own ending. If she takes off these glasses, she's going to fly away. She's like Clark Kent. Ladies and gentlemen, Michelle Vera. Kate McGray, now all the other girls that we had so far, one goes like, Brenda Vera is my brother. The other one goes, Brenda Vera is my husband. Then we did another one say, Vladimir Machichenko, he's my boyfriend. You know, but Kate McGray doesn't have all that. How did you get started? Um, I started training Muay Thai um, almost three years ago. And I did it just to get in shape. And I loved the sport so much and I wanted to just keep doing it more, so I started sparring. Once I was sparring more, decided I wanted to try fighting. Love it. Who, who have you been training with? Um, well, I trained with uh, Josh Barnett some, so he was really fantastic and really helpful. Now, send a message to your opponents. You're going to say, nah, I just walk away. <laughs> no, like I said, full of surprises. Don't underestimate me. I might be new, but 
Watch out. <laughs> We're here with Molly for the Ultimate Women's Combat. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm excited. Is your adrenaline rushing? Big time. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bit nervous. I have no idea what the other girl's caliber is going to yeah. be. So. And I'm nervous for you guys, and I'm not even in the ring, thank God. Because <laughs> you would smush me. But So how long have you been fighting, or is it something recent? Um, I've been actually training for about 10 years, and I've been fighting professionally for six. How do you think the show is going to bring attention to women fighters? I think most of the people that are against women's MMA are people that haven't seen women's fights or good women's match matchups. I think with this show, once they are forced to see it, they're going to be forced to love it. The sky's the limit. I think I've said it for a long time. This is the only thing that we need is just to let the world know what we can really do. That's all it's going to take. It's awesome, too. And then it, just getting to know the personalities and the backgrounds of the women, um, everybody that's in every female that's in the sport is very unique individual. And I think that the public will get enjoy learning about them. We're going to find out right now. Women's MMA is about to explode, and we're here to capture it. We'd like to thank our sponsor, HGH Infusion, for the U.S. tryout. And try to make your name top the charts And know that you were made for mixed martial arts Every day they training hard in the gym Cause they see boss and want a broad like him The champ, they train until they got the energy